The 2012-2013 law year got underway for the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court in a historic way on Tuesday, as for the first time in 45 years, a female Chief Justice presided over the official opening of the new law year. BVI-born Acting Chief Justice Janice Pereira looked at several areas in her feature address, which was themed improving efficiency and integrity in the administration of justice in time of economic adversity. The address was streamed live from St. Vincent and the Grenadines. Justice Pereira noted that the economic downturn has affected the judiciary in all OECS member states, particularly in regard to the quota of judges. However, she assured that this will not compromise the quality of justice. We are currently living in extremely difficult economic times where sustainability demands that businesses responsibly manage limited resources and still remain productive. It is no different for us in the judiciary. The impact of the economic downturn is being felt in all our member states and territories and no less so on the judiciary. The caseload of our courts has continued to increase steadily, which in turn has led to increased administrative cost in the face of shrinking budgets and decreased contributions. However, the judiciary of the Eastern Caribbean Supreme Court, although faced with resultant challenges, one of which is the absence of the optimum quota of judges, will continue to maintain its efficiency with the available resources. I wish to emphasize that the quality of justice will not be compromised, not even in these harsh and difficult economic times. The Acting Chief Justice gave an update of the Specialized Criminal Division tasked with developing a better way to manage the rise in criminal matters before the courts. She said the pilot program, which has launched in St. Lucia, has been implemented by other countries and is making progress. The criminal division pilot was successfully in implemented in St. Lucia and work on similar pilots continues to progress in other member states and territories where all indications show that continued success with implementation is imminent. Over the last year, the court has focused on evaluation of the criminal division in St. Lucia as part of the strategy to improve the system prior to replication in the other member states and territories. Comments and complaints about the new system and its effectiveness were investigated and results will be communicated via the court's website. In the meantime, work on the criminal division in the other member states continues with progress being reported in Grenada and Dominica. New case management procedures have been proposed to coexist with existing laws and practices in those member states, and I am happy to report that these new procedures have been already circulated and discussed with the magistrates and judges of Antigua and Barbuda, Dominica, Grenada, and the territory of the Virgin Islands, and St. Vincent and the Grenadines, and that these will serve the system well in the management of criminal cases. Speaking to what she termed the professionalization of the bar, Justice Pereira encouraged the reintroduction of a mentorship program for young lawyers to benefit from the guidance of senior lawyers. She said this would help with the decline in professionalism currently seen at the bar. Part of the professionalization of the bar requires practitioners to be properly learned in the law in terms of ethics, practice traditions, and culture. I believe the time has come for the bar associations to encourage the reintroduction of mentoring of for young lawyers. The current trend where young lawyers practice on their own without benefit of a senior to provide legal guidance and transfer of, uh, the transfer of valuable customs and practices has contributed to a decline in professionalism at the bar. The value of mentorship is significant and would assist in maintaining the standards and ethics of the profession. 
The Acting Chief Justice also spoke about better public accessibility to the court as a means of accountability, more uniformity among magistrates in both style and title through the introduction of new robes and the title change from your worship to your honor, and the harmonization and standardization of magistrates' salaries throughout the ECSC member states and territories, among other things. The opening of the new lawyer in the Virgin Islands included a prayer service in the courtyard and an inspection of the guards by Justice Albert Redhead.